So today we're taking a different route. We're not going towards Kolar, but we're taking this new highway, the new Chennai highway, and we're going to take it towards Devanali. Well, a lot of motorcyclists seem to be taking a shine to this new highway already. I think earlier it was Kolar, the old Madras highway, but I think this may emerge to be the most popular. What a beautiful straight stretch of road. Perfect for the Harley. And it's got a decent speed limit. You can do 100 on this route. Some walk, some jog, and some well ride. Good morning folks, welcome to another Sunday ride. I hope you're doing well. So it's been a while since uh, I stepped out on a Sunday ride with the boys. I don't know when this vlog will see the light of day. But uh, you probably have seen the Chikmaglur vlogs, the ride that we did with the boys. That was a couple of months ago. Today is the 18th of Feb when this vlog is being filmed. And uh, since the Chikmagluru ride, I haven't caught up with the boys at all. So looking forward to this for sure. And today we're also catching up with a couple of our uh, former riders. Uh, whom we are riding with after ages. So that's the agenda for today. Nice Sunday ride. Catch up with my boys. So the rendezvous point is uh, Poscote Toll. And uh, there certainly seems to be a fair bit of traffic that's already built up at 6.50 in the morning. So the group that I'm a part of is a group called the BGC or the Bikers Gourmet Club. And this is a group that we set up I think around 2014 when we began riding. So we used to first ride with the Harley owners group. Then gradually we formed our own group. You know, people who are like-minded, different walks of life, but passionate about motorcycling. And also food, we realized. And therefore, the group came to be called as the Bikers Gourmet Club. Initially, there were about, I think, 18 or 20 of us and every ride that we would do every sunday we would ride and there would be at least uh, eight or ten people if not more on a ride but then as they say life happens people move down to other locations as part of their work responsibilities etc and therefore the strength of the group the active riding group dwindled a bit over the years and so it's always nice when one is able to reconnect. Although we may not be riding, everybody is still on the same group and we still share a great deal of Bonami and camaraderie. I hope you enjoyed the Chikmagluru vlog series. I saw many comments from many of you who enjoyed being there on the ride. And the one thing that I find most heartening is when you tell me that you feel like you were on the ride with me as well. Because that's the whole idea. That's the whole reason why I have all this set up. I've got a camera here, I've got a camera here, I've got the Insta360 here. I just want to immerse you in the ride and that's my objective. So I'm glad that uh, many of you feel so. It is a bit cold. When I looked at the temperature in the morning, it was 16. It's perhaps come up a couple of degrees, but as we are riding, if you are not protected, you can certainly feel the nippy Bengaluru weather. That's a beautiful thing about Bengaluru, isn't it? We may crib all we can about this Ejipura bridge, which God knows will be completed when, and the traffic and all of that. But when it comes to the weather, well, nothing aces Bengaluru. 
and especially as a motorcyclist one is grateful because you can ride all year long which city can you do that in india i can't think of one Blazing sun, beautiful. Well, we seem to be caught in the mother of all traffic jams. Oh my goodness! I've been here the last 15 minutes trying to crawl through this past the KR Puram Bridge. So there's a market on the service road, but the problem is that. the people who go to shop there park on the main road which is actually part of the highway and this blocks the entire movement of vehicles 720 i was supposed to be with the boys at 715 you finally made it to the toll my goodness this has taken me 1 hour today from being our most preferred route a rendezvous point i think it's going to be my least preferred henceforth too much effort to get here where are the boys i think i can spot them right there हार्लेटी That's it, uh. and a rare sight these days. Well, people wanted to know why you were not there on the Chikmagalur ride. Chikmagalur, I think I missed because I had some other plans. Griff was also missed in a lot of the vlogs, Chikmagalur vlogs. Hey guys, well I was I was in Chikmagalur, but I went uh, along with Vic ah. in the four by four. He had enough of motorcycling. <laughs> That's what happens with age. <laughs> Let's go. So by the way, some trivia on the night road. Well, that's the only Harley where the engine was designed by Porsche. I think also built by Porsche, I'm not sure. But that's the reason why it looks like anything but a Harley. Look at those broad tires on that one. So years ago before I picked up my Harley I had met Vijay good to ride with him after a very very long time I think it's been years since we've uh, stepped out on a ride with Vijay So today we're taking a different route we're not going towards Kolar but we're taking this new highway the new Chennai highway and we're going to take it towards Devanali So from the Hoskote toll you have the first left into Hoskote and then the second exit 
which leads us to Chintamani and I think somewhere along the way the highway Good to see Bell too after a long time So this is the left that we take The left of us is Chintamani To catch the new highway It's nice to have two Harleys on the ride after a long time because uh, barring Vijay, nobody in Bengaluru has a Harley from our group. Everybody's done the switch to ADVs. Oh boy, this is a bad spot. So this is where we join the uh, new highway going towards Dabas Pete. If you take the right, you go towards Kolar. I am told this highway towards Chennai will be ready by December or probably earlier than that, I am not sure, maybe this summer, but definitely want to drive the chimney on that route when you ride after a while it's always good to take it easy never be in a hurry on the motorcycle our highways have gotten so good in the last few years but the biggest challenge is the access to the highways. I think in our cities we still have so much of unplanned development or unforeseen development and uh, that is what really makes it a challenge. Reaching Hoskote was a pain after KR Puram bridge but once we got to Hoskote, well it's a breeze. I think that is an area that cities need to tackle. Well, a lot of motorcyclists seem to be taking a shine to this new highway already. I think earlier it was Kolar, the old Madras highway, but I think this may emerge to be the most popular. Well, this is what Kolar was like. The Kolar highway was like when we began riding on it about 10 years ago. Not the same anymore with so much development that's happened along the highway. just enjoying the ride on this route amazing what a beautiful straight stretch of road perfect for the Harley and it's got a decent speed limit you can do 100 on this route so which is nice get to open the engine a bit I think we might as well enjoy our rides on this for a few months till it gets crowded or busy so the other way to get to this is through Devanahalli so I think for those of us who live that part of town in South Bengaluru, I think it's easier to access this through the uh, airport road, hit Devanali and then ride on this. Because getting to Hoskote, especially once you approach Kiarapuram Bridge, is a nightmare. And I don't think it's going to get better. 
it's only going to get worse there's also a fair bit of uh, content that we've created that i've produced with the jimni as well i think by the time you see this perhaps you may have seen it i'm not sure i did a drive to yerkard on the jimni lots happening and within all that to find time for a ride with my buddies is always wonderful especially if the road is as smooth as this This is where we take a left to our breakfast rendezvous for today which is uh, Nandi Upachar here in Devanwali So from home from Koromangla this is roughly about 56 kilometers so i think it's roughly about 15 odd kilometers from the Hoskote toll a beautiful riding that you can do but of course this road goes all the way to Dabaspete so you get a fairly good ride so definitely a good route to check out on the motorcycle or for a nice sunday drive to you take a left and then wrap a u towards nandi upachar there we are good old fave nandi upachar to be back on the motorcycle perfect yeah <laughs> fantastic to have one two three four five of us riding of course couple of them couldn't make it but nice to have vijay yeah. vidas after a long time Well, that was a good breakfast catch up with the boys. Some good idli, vade, dosa. The dosa was super good today. Excellent. That's the thing with Nandi Upachar. They're always so consistent in the food that they do, and uh, also the jalebi was a nice surprise touch today. Also good to meet fellow food lovers, many of whom watch the show. So all in all, a great Sunday. What a nice ride! I've done about 58 kilometers thus far, about 40 kilometers home. So all in all 100 kilometers on a Sunday morning the time is uh, 9:45 so I should be home by about 11. So I think that's it for this ride. I hope you enjoyed being with us. If you did give this uh, video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.